In Latin America and the Caribbean, two out of every 10 children suffer from chronic malnutrition, such as stunting and anemia. They are at higher risk for chronic illness and more likely to lead an unproductive life as adults. That's why Guyana, a country with one of the highest levels of poverty in the Western Hemisphere, has stepped up its efforts to make malnutrition an ill of the past. We saw nutrition not so much as filling bellies, but nutrition as an important, integral part of good health. Through the country's basic nutrition program, low-income families receive sprinkles, single-dose packets of iron, zinc, and vitamins that can be easily sprinkled onto meals. The families also receive a free $5 coupon per month to make purchases from an approved list of infant foods. Ariana, for example, has been receiving the sprinkle supplement since she was six months old. Twice a month, she and her mother, Aria, walk 10 kilometers to and from the Sophia Health Center to receive sprinkles, food coupons, and a wellness checkup. Today, Ariana is an energetic and thriving two-year-old. In young children, for example, we have reduced the prevalence of anemia by 34%, and we have also reduced undernutrition by 45%. These are very good results. I think our achievement in terms of reducing malnutrition is excellent, but I think what I like best is the fact that we have achieved change, behavior change in mothers in relation to their feed, feeding practices. And that is much more long-term and sustainable. This is a poverty reduction project. What is left to do is to continue and expanding the project with uh, uh, government funds or IDBs and IDB support in the future because this will have an impact on the well-being of uh, Guyanese. Until now, more than 10,500 families have participated in the program and plans have been made to extend it to 30 additional health centers throughout the country. As many Guyanese already know, every child deserves a chance for a bright and healthy future.